Hey everybody, welcome to today's tune. It's F.A. Swing by John Jorgensen. Let's get started. with the arrangement of it and i i just think there's a lot to talk about so that's why i want to kind of just get right to it if there's no questions um and i want to teach you the whole song <laughs> it's a pretty intense tune <laughs> Even stuff like that, maybe even an E7, I think would be the choice chord if you want to just do a full chord or a three note chord like this. Okay, that starts on beat four. So when you count off your band, you'd go one, two, three, four, and. Okay, it's on beat four, four, and, and you want to go down up. So again, that would be one, two, three, four, and, two, three, four, one, two. And then we're on the, now we're at the A section. So again, the intro I just want to say is completely on the five chord, the dominant, to build that tension, the drama, working together. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and two, three, four, then stop right here. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, and that's of course known as the Charleston rhythm. One, two, and, one, two, and, two, three, and then E seven. But I want to talk about this E7. This is E7 with the B in the bass here. You could put E7 like this, but it's really easy, as I've talked about a lot, with three note shapes, especially, to put the fifth in the bass on the E7. And I'm just making everything short. And then A minor six. This is F7. E7, that's called a flat six there to the five, very bluesy as a turnaround. But when you put the fifth in the bass, it looks like it's C minor six. Okay, so, you know, if you wanna think of it as C minor to B minor, like all minor six shapes, please go ahead. It, it, it does make life easy. I've actually put a video on YouTube very recently uh, for comping on minor swing with these three note shapes if you want further studies on this. So let's check it out, the A section with the stop time. Um, and again, I could, I, could, I could play you the example of it so you can hear it, uh, but this is all important just mainly as being in an ensemble. So let's, let's actually pretend that you are the lead player, that you are John Jorgensen now. Um, you want to do this hit here. On the low E, one, two, three, four, and. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and. You gotta get that first, okay? I get that tight um, with the ensemble because everybody does that together. One, two, three, four, and. Four, and. It is subjective. John tries to play more true to Django, meaning a la Django, I always call it. 
I don't do that personally. I just do whatever feels good. <laughs> and so I would be doing this. <laughs> It's a tricky little rhythm, so it starts on the end of one, one. Get it in. Try to get that slur. Four and. Four and. Four and. And so there's, it's tied over to beat one. So there's nothing on one. Sweet riff. And not only, it's, a, it's important because he's gonna bring that back in the melody too. So one, two, three, four, and. Four, and. Four, and. And then now we're technically in the A section right there on that A minor six chord. And then the cool, I like how he threw this lick back in. And that's just right down the harmonic minor scale, A harmonic minor. Which is the choice scale really, I think for Gypsy Jazz for, on a minor key song uh, is the harmonic minor. This is A harmonic minor, by the way, the five chord being the E. And that's actually typically, when you would actually use the harmonic minor is on the five chord. You actually don't use it on the one chord. You play probably melodic minor or Dorian or minor six, but not typically harmonic minor, typically speaking. And really, he, he's really just targeting that E, but he goes around the E. Okay, and that's what generally what I just refer to as embellishment or enclosure. You got the E. Above it a half step, below it a half step. We're really just decorating it. And then he goes up the arpeggio, which is a diminished seven arpeggio, starting on the F, half step above, the flat nine. So you have the nines. And little, um, the very nuanced little ideas here, the slurs, the, uh, the um, in this case, so it's Okay, you just want to get that quick little pull off. And I'm hitting that as an upstroke. Mm. So it's one, two, and. Okay, and I think that's really important to get down. And by the way, you could go right, it, fingering's really optional, totally optional. You can slide back to the five where you could go. I think I generally do this. I kind of just leap into it. I don't slide back, but you could. Okay, and the lick was. Is that pretty? Da 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 da. There's that sixth degree. That's a melodic minor scale. If you had to choose, if personally. That's A melodic minor. You, you get the major six, you get the major seven. So you have one, two. Hopefully you can see this. A minor triad. And then you would go. So it's kind of bluesy. And now it's this E7 starting on the fifth. You got the flat nine. Okay, so B minor seven flat five arpeggio if you want to get technical. 
and then it goes to the third, the G sharp down, because I think it's got a lot of great licks. You know, it's like learning a solo, essentially. Uh, a lot of really nice ideas, but hopefully you can see how it all pieces together. Really a good study in trying to piece things together. The intro, these hits, whatever, you know, the whole song, just like you're playing with them. That's how I'm treating it. Um, I'm actually sweeping. But mainly get the timing, go one, two, and. So it's one, two, and three, four, all at one, two, and. More Charleston rhythm, but we have da, 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 one, two, and. Back to the first A. Okay, let's try the whole A section very, very slowly. One, two, three, four. That's the ending there if you want to check. Pretty fun. I hope you guys had fun with